Uh oh. Oh no, oh no. Today I'm gonna to give you my first paddle impressions of the brand new Jackson Kayaks Kuza X. But first, let's go bow to stern and I'll show you what this kayak's all about. Starting up at the front here, we have the uh, carry handle. This kayak is, comes in at about uh, 98 pounds. It's 11 foot, nine inches long. And uh, yeah, it's pretty rigged out here. So we've got this track at the very front here. It seems pretty small and you wonder what this is for. But this is for an anchor mounted trolley system. So it actually has a spot where you can run your cables. You can drill through here and have your cables come out the end right here. There's also these anchor points for anything else that you need to uh, strap onto the side here. You've got this nice big bow hatch with an improved paddle park system. If any of you know the previous Jackson kayaks, they had this uh, kind of like bungee here before, but now it's this solid piece of rubber here with the uh, nice fish scale design, pretty sweet. And then we've got these big, huge uh, latches here. These are gonna be great for like non-snag, trying to avoid getting your, your fishing line snagged on here, nice and rounded. So let's see what's inside. Here's the whole list of what's in inside. But you have access on the inside here, and you're already getting a glimpse of what's to come on this kayak. These are the rod holders, uh, the tubes for the, the rod holders, which we'll get to in a second. Looking inside, you can see we have some foam reinforcing the floor there. There's also some extra pillars there, adding some additional support. So lots of room if you want to do more modifications, that's totally possible with this kayak, which is sweet. You can see we have these uh, drain channels down the side, so if we do happen to get some big waves coming over, it's gonna drain out the side and down the middle here, right through the scupper hole, and leading to these two lash points. I guess this could just be for a paddle leash or some clippers. Um, if there's a specific use case that you can think of, let us know in the comments below. Then we have these awesome, I love this, the flush mounted rod holders. Two ports for your rod tips to go into, and then there's two pieces down here to kind of lock your rods in place when you start hitting those class ones, class twos. Class threes if you're super brave. Those flush mounted rod holders are pretty clutch considering uh, this is a river kayak. So think about it, you're going down the river and you've got your rods kind of sitting beside you in the kayak, ready to go. And if you have your rod tips sticking out the sides here, when you come up to a tree or any kind of thing sticking out of the water, maybe a rock, your rod's gonna grab on that and you have the potential to break some rods, get hung up on stuff. It's really nice keeping everything inside the kayak here for, for river running. These high gunnel walls will allow you to keep your rods ready and underneath the gunnels, which is great. Getting to the gunnels, they have the tri-track system on here. This is so much gear track, so every side of this you can mount something. The options are really uh, like multiplied by three. So that is pretty sick. Both sides, try track, and that's not all of it. There's more on this kayak, but that's to come. Interesting foot pegs. These are new, so I'll see how these feel when I'm paddling. I think they'll be all right, but I can see, so my foot's here. I wonder where this is gonna sit on my foot um, and how comfortable that is. Got nice silent traction pad here, covering most of the deck. Excellent. And moving to the seat. You may notice that this seat is kind of faded, a little sun-worn. That's because this seat isn't the seat that actually came with the kayak. I'm borrowing this uh, fishing kayak from Frontenac Outfitters. They agreed to let me borrow this for the day and just give it a test paddle. If you want to try out fishing kayaks, I highly recommend, or any kayaks or sups for that matter, or canoes, you can come to Frontenac Outfitters and test paddle right here on this lake, just like what I'm about to do. So you could have this experience yourself. Anyways, thanks Frontenac Outfitters for letting me use this boat for the day and checking it out. This is sweet. So that's why this seat's faded. I'm not using the original seat. This kayak is gonna belong to somebody someday and I just wanna take care of it and not use as much of it as possible. But use it just enough to give you an idea of what it's like. This seat system came out last year. Uh, this was on the U-Pick along with the Jackson NAR and it's their high-low seating system. This high-low seating system, I've used it already for a year and I, I like it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Sometimes when I'm in the lower position, if I'm really trying to put in a lot of power, which isn't often, I do find myself sometimes shifting a little bit, and I do wish I could lock it in, but really, it hasn't been a hindrance. I've paddled some pretty strong winds, and uh, this seat system's been pretty good. So you can adjust it high-low, like I mentioned, but you also have these adjustments here so you can change the trim. Let's see, how far forward can we go? Oh, really far forward, that's, a kid could paddle that, look at that. And I'm pushing that all the way back, and this all the way back. I think if you're six foot, you would fit comfortably. I can't speak for that though, so I won't. Cool, so that's, oh I see, and they have a new system back here. So you actually have these here kind of as like a brace for this to slide forward and back. 
That's new for this seat design, actually. That was not like this. Before, it was just four bolts like this in track. I like that. I think that's a better idea. We have some more gear track on the side here, which is pretty good for a camera mount or even a paddle park system. And then we have more tri-track on the back. So if you have like one of those live wells or uh, you just want some serious rigging up on the back here, imagine all the rod holders. You could have like 30 on here. Get like 10, but still. And then you have these too. So you have two flush mounted, integrated rod holders and they look like they'll come out at, at an angle. And we have more scupper holes here at the back. Lots of drainage, awesome. And more gear track with some room for a strap or some rope. These gaps are greater than what's on the U-Pick. The U-Pick had this design as well, which I really like for strapping stuff down, especially for camping. Um, but I also like that these are increased and these are larger. You've got a bit of a bigger clearance so you can get some thicker straps in there, maybe multiple straps. Now we have access to the back hatch, something that I kind of wish the U-Pick had. But there's this uh, sock thing, so you can maybe keep some like uh, a first aid kit in here, maybe some repair tools and a patch kit. And then you have access into the back. And then we have some more channels over here. Now this could be for, uh, they've rigged this up so you can have like a trolling motor on here or just like a little torpedo motor. They made it pretty easy having these four integrated bolts already built into it. And then of course you have your drain plug. And then this channel, so I believe this is for cables maybe, uh, just to kind of allow easier, easier path of travel. But that's sweet, this thing is ready for a motor. And also on the front, this is a pretty sweet flat surface. You could get a, a trolling motor up front here too. So if you wanted that, that's an option. And then you could also run cables through here, just like you might with the anchor, the front mounted anchor. And if you take a look under here, you can see that there's actually a huge transducer cover. So you can fit some pretty big transducers on this kayak. First step into the kayak, let's see how it feels. It feels pretty stable. Well, it's not the nicest day of paddling I've had so far this year. Oh, that wind's really picking up. So I'm gonna paddle into the wind and then fish on my way back. So far though, first pedal, first paddle impressions are, it's paddling pretty well, feels great, uh, stability's amazing, no issues. Uh, very comparable or feels better than the U-Pick so far. Feels great to stay in and paddle. Pretty decent. Oh, I'm on. Nice. Darn. Not really what I wanted. Let's get you back quickly. Okay, first open water fish of the year, but not a legal one. One of the things that makes this cool about it being a river runner is Jackson Kayak. Their roots are in white water. If you know anything about white water, you've probably heard the name Dane Jackson. Well, yes, it's the same Jackson, same family. They know rivers, they know current. <laughs> so if there's anybody that I would trust to be making me, I'm going to hit a tree here. There's my rod in the back. You good, you good? We're good, we're good. If there's anybody that I'm gonna trust to make a river kayak, river fishing kayak, it's Jackson. They've been doing fishing kayaks for quite a few years now, and they got their start with, with rivers, with whitewater paddling, so they know how to make a hole meant for rapids and current. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Uh, not what I meant to catch. I don't know if I'll get this in though. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go, little pike. Gotta put you back though, because you are about to start spawning. Spawning and breeding and making babies. All right, well, there you have it. My first paddle impressions of the Jackson Kuza X. It's pretty sweet, super maneuverable, yet super stable, and it doesn't feel like a tank to paddle. So that's great, tracked well as well. You can try this out yourself at Front Neck Outfitters. You can come out for a test paddle and get this same experience that I just did. Anyways, we'll catch you later.